What's going on guys? We are gonna do a toy review on the Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. This is a system that is a remote control that connects to the Nintendo Switch and you can actually create your own game, um, your own circuit, and it actually moves like a remote control car. It is pretty cool technology. So we're gonna check it out and uh, show you how it works. So the Mario Kart Live is about 70 to 100 bucks depending on uh, where you get it. But uh, Target, Walmart, all those kind of places sell it. It's uh, ages six plus, but it does require kind of downloading an app and, and configuring it with the Switch. So uh, keep that in mind. So this is the Luigi set. Yes, you can set up your own racetrack and kind of make the game control it. And there's like a first person point of view there. And you also can see the remote control go around. Pretty cool. All right, so each set comes with the remote control car, either Mario or Luigi. It comes with four of these cardboard gates that you set up, a couple arrow signs, and the charging cable. So how do you get it on the Switch? So you get it on the Switch by downloading the free app if you just search up Mario uh, Kart on the Nintendo eShop. You'll find Mario Kart Home Circuit. It's for free. You download it. After that, you connect your cart and then you can start playing. So what you get is a gate number one, gate number two, gate number three, we're very professional here. Gate number, gate number three, gate number four. So four gates. And two arrow signs. Two arrow signs like the game has Mario Kart. So here is the Luigi car. So it comes with a cord that you can plug directly into the Switch console to charge the docking station. So when you download the Mario Kart Live Home Circuit app, Yeah, it's gonna just give you a warning. And yeah, so Mario Kart Life Home Circuit. If you have the other one, it will be like the opposite with Mario and Luigi. Just as funny as that. But yeah, so when you go on, press the carts in mission button. So that means you gotta press the You gotta pair it. Yeah, you gotta so this is the uh, pairing button. Yeah. So the item. These are like things you can use to speed up your cart, help take out other um, carts. Yeah, pretty standard for the Mario Kart games. So we have a mushroom, a triple mushroom, golden mushroom, a coin, a banana. All right, so now we're gonna go to the environments, check yeah. that out. Yeah, so there's like a bunch, there's like, show you like how they work and things. Got all your standard Mario stuff. Yeah, so, so these are the gate features. You can have on your games. So if you click on them, what happens now, nothing? So this isn't the build mode. Yeah, this is just like... Just kind of shows you what's there. Click on it. Does any, It just goes over what each of the things yeah. is. Okay. So the item book, it shows you an item boost. It tells you what it does. That's all it does for that yeah. gameplay section. It's like a, in, information. It's just like a move that you can do. It just shows you. So this is just, yeah, tutorial. Just Go to stickers. Stickers, they're just things you can use. So if you get like your progress, you can get more stickers. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check out the cart. It tells us what to do in terms of the maintenance for the cart. So we won't go through all that. The gates, go to the gates. Let's see what that does. Go to... So I guess it's in the instruction manual for the cardboard gates. All right. You can get out of that. Hold on, go to the placement guidelines. So it tells you kind of everything you need to know. That's where the instruction manual is. Mm -hmm. Give it online. Okay. Multiplayer. Okay, it gives a couple different gaming options. Mm -hmm. One is like where there's a bunch of different players. And it's like a multiplayer. But... Yeah, so basically everything here is just information. This is not where you're going to make your track. Okay, so this is our track that we're going to set up.
Now, disclaimer, it does say for indoor use only, so you're not supposed to use this outside, but we just set it up outside, see how it goes. So that's how you pair it. QR code. Scan. There's actually a camera here. Mm -hmm. And then the... And now you gotta like choose what you ha like you can have. I just started. I'm gonna do this. So there's a couple different options for things. No. I'm gonna do single flat. So in order to create it, you have to like Paint. do a test run first. Okay. And it's testing. And it has a camera that like acknowledges the posts. It's pretty cool. And it's got a camera, it's so cool. So you can see from first point of view. Yeah, you wanna stay around? Uh-oh, stuck in the ground. And he's doing this from inside over there. Yeah, so it's not in race mode full yet. That's the course we created. Awesome, let's do it. Yeah, I'm gonna race. That part? Yeah, I'm gonna do jungle. Okay, so you can actually change the environment, even though you set it up wherever, you can change the environment on the screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't So it took our course layout and it's gonna make it into like a video game. Um, I'm okay, um, okay. gonna start. Oh, it's raining. Here he goes. There he goes. So, you know, obviously you're not supposed to do it outside and it does get caught on things pretty easily. So FYI. And he's all oh, crashed into the gate. Yeah, so it's a remote control that is connected to the switch. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it, it's... It like changes the so gate. So you can actually use like the mushrooms and stuff like that too. You're a bad driver. So you are racing against computer people as well, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why you're in fifth place. Not doing so good. So cool. It's going right past us. So it's like real life in a video game mixed. That is pretty cool. And you actually can use it just like a regular remote control car too. You don't have to use the gates. And it it's got a camera on it, so you can go and spy on people and stuff. So overall, I think this is a really cool toy. I actually was having fun kind of playing it and watching him. Do you think it's cool or what? Yes, it's cool. And he's nine going on 10, so definitely a good age for that kind of toy. Pretty cool, it's something different, you know? Like I loved playing remote yes. control cars when I was little. So this is that in a game. You can actually do a little creativity with it and make your own course. That's the Mario Kart Live review. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.